Hello everyone and welcome to On The Hook Crochet where we find out what's on the hook today. Um, on The Hook today is our giveaway number three and I will get to that in just a moment. But first I wanted to wish everyone a happy Mother's Day. If you're a mother, uh, you are so blessed and just remember that children are a gift from God and um, no matter how many you have, whether you have one or ten, uh, each is such a sweet, different personality, and you get to know them and watch them grow up and guide them the way they should be get, guided. So I uh, wish everyone a happy Mother's Day who is a mother, and everybody has a mother. Um, so uh, to all the mothers and grandmothers, um, I wish you a happy belated Mother's Day. Hope you had a great day yesterday. I was visiting an, a church in a different city, and so... When I got there, they were giving all the mothers this, which they must have heard my video saying I didn't have any project bags. <laughs> so they were giving these away. I thought these were cute. Pray, hope, and don't worry. <laughs> that's, that's great. Uh, they weren't handing out flowers, but they were handing out what I consider project bags. So it was right up my alley, and I appreciated that. In a previous video, um, I talked about going to a yarn store in Destin, and then I mentioned that there were two yarn stores, and I have to correct that. The second yarn store that I went to, drove all the way down, uh, probably 15 miles to it, and found out that it was it was called, um, I think Destin Stitches or something like that. I assumed it was a yarn shop, but it was actually a quilting shop. <laughs> so I walked in and there were sewing machines and quilts all over the wall and I looked for the yarn and it wasn't there. And the owner came out and I told her what had happened and she says, no, we're not a yarn store. We don't have any yarn. And I said, you don't have any? And she said, no, we don't have any yarn. So I had to leave and I didn't do any filming there, obviously. So um, there's right now only one yarn store in that whole area of the Gulf. And so she's got all the business. Now to answer some questions that y'all had asked me, she does not sell online. She only sells in her store. Um, so uh, she honestly doesn't even have a cell phone. So she likes to do the retail thing. And so if you wanted to buy anything in her shop, you'd have to go into the shop and buy it. You can't buy it online. So, um, now she actually had an email address. I, I can't find her card. I'm not usually that crazy, but I somehow have misplaced it and it'll probably turn up. But she does have an email and she will, you know, take special orders. And in the next video, I'm going to show you what I bought there. But this video, most importantly, is um, video number three. So I'm going to announce what the giveaway is. First of all, I mean, it's gonna be my Caroline cardigan. And if y'all have watched any of my videos, you would know that I made this. It's very similar to the Johnny Topper, honestly. Um, it's not uh, exactly the same, obviously, but it's very similar to it. And I wanna show it to you and some of the detail on it because uh, it's not good for me, and honestly, um, I've got so many crocheted items that I don't mind giving some of them away, and I would like to do that. So this is this is one that I uh, actually like, but I'm going to give it away anyway because someone out there might wear it more than me. I will just give that away. So, without further ado, uh, Crystal is going to model this for me. This is the Caroline Cardigan. And she's wearing it with a beige cotton turtleneck, which is appropriate for most of the year, not all year, but for today, it's a little cool outside. So she's wearing um, a little bit of a turtleneck knit shirt, very thin, long sleeves. And this is the Caroline Cardigan, and I'll show it to you. It's, it's made in a big rectangle. And you know what it has in there? It has these holes for the sleeves. Where have we seen that before? <laughs> but it's actually very cute on. Um, and I modeled it in a previous video, but I thought I thought Crystal would probably do a better job today because me turning her around and y'all wouldn't be able to hear me if I was out in the middle of the floor. So let me just show you how it's made. Uh, first of all, the, the pattern is a free pattern on Lion Brand. And it's called a Caroline Cardigan. And here's a picture of it. I've shown this to y'all before. 
Now I made it without the sleeves because I ran out of fabric and I'll show you a little bit about that in a minute. But this is a very good pattern. It's easy to follow and it has some interesting uh, stitches on it. So uh, it's not for a strict beginner. You'd have to understand how to follow directions because there's a stitch on here and I'm sure y'all have probably heard of it, but there's a stitch on here that I want to explain to you. But anyway, that's the, that's the pattern and it's made out of this yarn called Flicka. And Flicka is, um, if you'll rec I don't know if you can recognize that. Look at that. It looks very familiar. It's a number three lime brand, half cotton, half acrylic. I wonder what that would be. Well, it would be this. It's comfy cotton. It's the exact same yarn. Let me get it up here so you can see it. Okay, see that? That is the exact same yarn as this which is what I had left over. It's the same exact yarn. So, I mean, that's nothing earth shattering because I think Crystal at Bag of Day said that long ago and I just happened upon one of her videos one day and I thought, is that the same yarn? And sure enough, it was. I got them out and I had bought this yarn to make the Johnny Topper out of. And of course I haven't done it yet, but this is the yarn I had left over. It's the same exact yarn. Same company, same blend, same everything. It's Comfy Cotton Blend, but they called it Flicka, and they sold some kits with this pattern and this yarn, and I bought one. And what happened was, said <laughs> what had happened was, um, I ran out of yarn before I got to the sleeves. This is all I had left. That was it. That's all I had left. And I really just really didn't want to buy any more yarn, so I just made it into a vest, which was one of the options on the pattern. So this pattern is made in a long rectangle. It is double crochet, and along here are called X stitches. I don't know if you can see that. It's really hard to see in a variegated yarn. There's no point in putting fancy stitches on variegated yarn because you can't see them. It's nice to have, but you certainly don't need that. Look, you can't even tell that this row right here is a very special row made out of uh, X stitches and where you go backwards and all that, you have to follow the directions and it's not hard, I could do it, so it's not hard. And then a row of double crochet along the bottom. Along here is a row of, uh, actually there are four rows of single crochet, which is one finish that I really, really like. And then right along the edge is a crab stitch. And if you're not familiar with that, you have to follow directions and it's um, basically it's crab stitch because you're going backwards um, you're crocheting backwards and it's a cute uh, idea it puts a really nice finish on the edge of a jacket but again you can't really see it because the yarn is variegated but you know it's there and it's a beautiful vest so uh, let me show you the back the back is also obviously uh, double crochet it's a little flouncy at the bottom, which I like. Let's see if you can see that. And then it comes down into a point in the front. So it's a little bit of a diagonal going toward the front. But it's all done in double crochet. The neck actually um, goes up behind your neck. I mean, it is a little bit of a high neck. It comes up, you know, below the hairline, obviously, but it has a nice look around your neck, which is, you know, one thing that I really like. <clears throat> And then the sleeves have a one row of single crochet around the edge. So the colors are coral and gray and a little bit of off-white. So you could wear it with any of those colors and it would look really, really nice. And Crystal's wearing it with the kind of a beigey, creamy color and it looks really nice. And you could wear it over a short sleeve t-shirt. You know, you could easily do that or you could even wear it over a sleeveless tank. It would be kind of cute. And it's made mostly out of cotton, well, half and half cotton and acrylic. So it has a nice drape and um, I mean, I like it, but it is an article that I probably won't wear a whole lot. So I'm just gonna let one of my subscribers have it. So if you would, uh, it, to enter the giveaway, just put a comment down below and tell me what you're gonna do with it. That's my general question that I like to ask. And I like to know what you're going to do with these things that I'm giving away. And I got some great answers for my placemats last week. <laughs> there were all kinds of answers along there. If you want to read those, just go down to the comments. They're huge. I mean, it's like 100, over 100 comments. 
which was kind of nice. And everybody said what they were going to actually do with those placemats and their color scheme in their kitchens. And oh, it was so cute. So tell me what you're going to do with this. And um, I'll enter you in the giveaway if you're in the comment section. And on Friday, I will run the comment picker through and we'll have a winner for the giveaway. I have another video coming out either this afternoon or tomorrow morning about the yarn store that I was at. And I want to show you this, some of the things that I purchased there. So I hope you have a great day and join me next time to find out what's on the hook.